Well, folks, I love good food. From Granny's home cooking all the way to fine dining in a restaurant, there's nothing better than a good meal. Well, Mom and I had a great meal the other day at the Blue Raven Restaurant in Pikeville. Chef Matt Corbin has been running that place for a couple years, and it's been named one of the top 10 restaurants in the state. Now, Mom's with Matt right now, and he's going to show us how to make his famous crab cakes. Mom? Thanks. Today, we're in Pikeville, Kentucky at the Blue Raven Cafe, and I'm with Matt Corbin. Hi, Matt. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Matt is going to show us how to make one of the recipes here at his restaurant, and it's, uh, tell us about it. Uh, this is the crab cakes. We change our menu seasonally. So this is the only menu item that has survived all of our menu changes. It's pretty popular. It's our best seller. It's very simple, very easy to do. And um, I'll show you how to do it real okay. quick. This is just some um, crab claw meat. It's uh, three pounds. Add to that, we got a little bit of mayonnaise. This is uh, eight ounces or about a cup. Full fat mayonnaise? Yeah, real just thing. regular mayonnaise, the okay. real deal. Um, this is some panko breadcrumbs. This is a quart container, so it's about 32 ounces. Okay. And then we've got some whole grain Dijon mustard, um, just about three or four tablespoons. Um, and then the last thing is uh, just some Old Bay. It's got uh, paprika, salt, pepper, a lot of good stuff in it. Yeah. Add that in there. Um, so this is the base for our, our jumbo lump crab cakes. After we make up the, um, the mixture here, we'll add in our, our jumbo lump afterwards so it doesn't break up. So we got nice big pieces of crab. But you could definitely stop at this point and, and use this for your crab cake if mm -hmm. you wanted to, if you wanted to serve it. So I'm just going to give it a little toss here. This is some sauteed red onion and red pepper here we're going to add also. So this is about the consistency you want. Um, it's a little wet. I usually let it sit up for about an hour to two hours because it makes it easier to mold into the crab cake shape that we use. Uh -huh. um, but from here, we would just add our lump meat and then we'd throw it in the oven. And after we do that, I can show you what it looks like finished. So, so you've uh, patted them out and this is an unusual little shape. How'd you do that? Uh, we've got some, some tall ring molds that we use. Makes it easy, same size every time. Um, and then we, you could saute them. You could throw them in the oven, which is what we do, or put them under the broiler. Um, Okay. We'll throw Let's it in the oven, oven right here. Do you serve this with any kind of sauce or anything or just... Yeah, uh, it comes with our um, house remoulade, which we make pickles here. So um, they're bread and butter pickles. Um, we use those to make the remoulade. And then we have a red onion, red pepper, and apple salsa that goes on top. And um, as soon as they get out of the oven, I'll put it together and show right. you the finished product. Matt, a lot of our young people seem to go to the bluegrass part of the state, either to Lexington or Louisville or somewhere where there are a lot more opportunities. And you did the opposite. Why did you come back to Pikeville? Uh, my dream was always to own my own restaurant and Pikeville afforded me the best opportunity to do that. I have a good support system here. My, my family's here. Um, my parents have been pretty instrumental in helping me get this up and running. My grandfather was here and he had a lot of businesses and I kind of wanted to continue that legacy as well. Okay. Very good. Very good. Where do you see yourself in five years? I mean, we've, we've pretty much settled into the area. Like We've got a two and a half year old. And I mean, Pikeville is a great neighborhood to raise a kid. So I'm assuming that we'll still be here in five years. Um, I want the restaurant to become a much bigger success than it is right now. We've gotten some notoriety lately, but I'd like to con mm -hmm. or continue that to grow. I like the building you're in. Um, tell us about the um, construction or the renovation. How did you get to where we are today? This used to be um, a car shop. Um, af after that, it was a um, telephone company. Um, we, we took it over from them, took the lease over, and we came in and pretty much redid the whole thing. It wasn't really set up for a restaurant, but um, we put the kitchen in and all the woodwork. We uh, tore down a barn from my grandfather's farm and reused the wood. Um, and it's all in the dining room and the bar. The bar is very beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. We, we worked hard on it. Matt, tell us some of the things on the menu here at the Blue Raven. Uh, we do a seasonal menu, so we change it up every three months. Right now we're in the winter time, so there's not a lot of fresh produce that we can get from the surrounding area. In the spring, in the summer, and the fall, we do get a lot um, from Floyd County and from Pike County. There's mm -hmm. some pretty good farmers that are growing a lot of good stuff around here. So 
Um, we try to use what we can. Uh, we do a lot of specials during the week, soups, that kind of thing. So we also use some, some specialty ingredients that they grow. And just on the menu, we kind of do, um, it's like Southern classics. We've done hot browns, we've done pot roasts. I do simple food and we just try to make it as nice as possible and use the best ingredients that we can. I think that's a winner. <laughs> So this is um, our remoulade on the bottom that we make with our house pickles and red pepper. And then our lump crab cake on top. And this is just a fresh green apple, red pepper, and red onion salsa. Mm, it's green just apple. Um, all that stuff in a small dice. And we toss it with a little um, white wine vinegar or white balsamic vinegar. And usually some local honey if we've got it on hand. Mm, it looks marvelous. So this is um, one of our best sellers. People really enjoy this one, and like I said, it's been on the menu since we've opened. Okay. Can we taste it? Yeah. It smells really good. All right, this is mine. That one's yours. All right. I don't get I want, to eat my food very often. I want a little bite of everything. It's still pretty hot, steaming. Mmm. If you'd like to visit the Blue Raven, tell us how to get here. Uh, we're at downtown Pikeville, 211 Main Street. Hard to miss. It's a big brick building. Our phone number is 606-509-2583. Uh, well, I got a bite of that crab cake when they were finished. And let me tell you, I was tempted to lick the plate. It was that good.